dipeptidyl peptidase 4 inhibitors, use is associated with the risk of inflammatory bowel disease among patients with type 2 diabetes. Since a decade, the use of dipeptidyl peptidase 4 inhibitors has increased significantly in patients with type 2 diabetes. According to clinical studies, inflammatory bowel disease patients have decreased concentration of dipeptidyl peptidase 4 enzyme. This decrease in concentration has been known to be associated with increased disease activity, either as the cause or consequence of the active disease. The aim of the study was to determine the use of dipeptidyl peptidase 4 inhibitors and its correlation with the occurrence of inflammatory bowel disease in patients with type 2 diabetes. The patients included in this study were newly treated with non-insulin anti-diabetic drugs or those whose treatment was newly modified. The patients who were treated with insulin before the prescription of anti-diabetic drugs were excluded from the study. Patients with a history of polycystic ovarian syndrome or gestational diabetes were also excluded. The study was a population-based cohort study including 141,170 patients. The incidence rate of inflammatory bowel disease was evaluated using statistical tools. The statistical models were adjusted for the potential confounders measured at cohort entry. The incidence rate of inflammatory bowel disease was significantly higher in the patients prescribed with dipeptidyl peptidase 4 inhibitors when compared to other anti-diabetic drug users. The hazard ratio for the dipeptidyl peptidase 4 inhibitors increased after adjustment of the confounding factors, whereas it remained the same for other anti-diabetic drugs. DPP-4 inhibitors use was associated with a higher risk of ulcerative colitis than Crohn's disease. The results of this study suggest that the dipeptidyl peptidase 4 inhibitors use is associated with an overall 75% increase in the risk of inflammatory bowel disease in type 2 diabetes patients.